All right, guys, so some of you may have forgot about the pandemic and the virus because the mainstream liberal media uh, isn't talking about it anymore, right? All of a sudden, the hysteria over the pandemic uh, has kind of went away, right? As the liberal media has averted our attention away from that to what is going on in Ukraine and Russia, right? All eyes on that. However, uh, what is flying under the radar is a huge bombshell story that, in my opinion, should be one of the biggest stories in the world right now, right? And this story uh, basically uh, supports the hypothesis of the lab leak theory, okay? As scientists have found a tiny chunk of DNA that allegedly matches the sequence patented by Moderna three years before the pandemic began. Now that that's some crazy stuff, right? Let, let me let me let me re repeat that to you. A tiny chunk of DNA, right, has been found in the virus, allegedly, allegedly, okay, that was patented by Moderna three years before the pandemic began. I want people to understand that, right? That that, in my opinion, is bombshell news that brings up a whole lot of questions, right? A whole lot of questions, okay? So with that being said, Maria Bartiromo of Fox Business uh, did a rare uh, case of journalism here and actually pressed Moderna's CEO about this patented uh, DNA sequence found in the virus. Take a look. I've got to end on this story that has been circulating. No doubt you saw it about the origins of COVID. We've all been trying to understand how this started and whether or not this did come from a lab in Wuhan. Uh, let me ask you what the Daily Mail is reporting. It says more evidence COVID was tinkered with in a lab. Now scientists find the virus contains a tiny chunk of DNA that matches sequence patented by Moderna three years before the pandemic began. Your reaction, Stefan, what can you tell us? So my scientists are looking into those data to see how accurate they are or not. As I've said before, the hypothesis of an escape from a lab by an accident is possible. You know, human makes mistakes. So uh, is it possible that the Wuhan lab in China was working on uh, viruses uh, enhancement or gene modification? And then there was an accident where somebody was infected in the lab and then infected their families and friends. It is possible on the claim you just uh, mentioned, uh, the scientists are analyzing to know if it's uh, real or not. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I was struck by the line. It matched a genetic sequence patented by Moderna for cancer research purposes, Stefan. Yeah, and that's the type of things that the team is looking at very carefully to know is it is it real or not. Okay. So it, it takes a bit of time to analyze yeah. all the genetic sequence. Well, Stefan, again, uh, really important work that you and your scientists are doing. We thank you so much for walking us through it this morning. Thanks so much, Stefan Bonsell. Wow. Shout out to Maria Bartirono, man. Right? She's not afraid to ask the tough questions, especially when it comes to the conspiratorial stuff, okay? I mean, she's the same person that has pressed Trump on UFOs, right? She's not afraid to ask the questions that may make her sound a little crazy, right? So shout out to Maria Bartiromo. She's a real one. Except in that interview, right before that question, she was basically, you know, kissing this dude's butt over, you know, Moderna's profits and all that other stuff. But hey, it is what it is. Okay, she still asked the question of why in the heck is a patented DNA sequence from Moderna found in this virus? And when I actually read this article from the Daily Mail, the same article that she's referencing, it's going to get even crazier, guys, because apparently uh, the likelihood of this code developing naturally and this virus is basically slim to none. It's like lottery chances, right? which again, really opens up a whole lot of questions here. And the Moderna CEO in that interview answered none of them, right? And nobody should be surprised about that. The dude just completely avoided addressing the part about how his company and their patented code was found in the DNA sequence. He said nothing about it, except that, well, you know, our scientists are looking into that to see if that's true, right? To see if that's actually true. But I'm not going to really talk about it. Right? I'm not really going to talk about it. Okay, just simply saying, hey, the lab leak theory could be valid. Who knows? Right? We're looking into it. Again, this is the same company, guys, that has made a killing. Right? Just look at their stock price. Okay? Uh, off of this 
pandemic, right? Off of this virus. So again, this opens up a whole lot of questions about what the hell is going on, okay? Again, this should be one of the number one news stories in the world right now, but it is just flying under the radar because there's a new distraction, right, going on, okay? So uh, let's read about this. Fresh suspicion that COVID may have been tinkered with in a lab emerged today after scientists found genetic material owned by Moderna in the virus's spike protein. They identify a tiny snippet of code that is identical to part of a gene patented by the vaccine maker three years before the pandemic. Now, again, this opens up a whole lot of questions here, okay, because people had questions about how in the world did we get these vaccines so fast, right? How was Moderna able to uh, come out with a vaccine at such a rapid pace? Now, keep in mind, this is coming from a company whose only commercial product is the COVID-19 vaccine, okay? Now, they do have uh, 23 treatment and vaccine candidates, 15 of which are undergoing clinical trials for various uh, other diseases like HIV and, you know, the flu and other types of viruses and stuff like that. But the only commercial product thus far is the COVID-19 vaccine, okay? Which basically got sped it up right in terms of approval and use uh because of the pandemic i'm just saying i mean <laughs> there's a whole lot of questions here going on there's a whole lot of questions i'm just saying again i'm not trying to get into alex jones territory here right i'm not trying to get yeeted from youtube for being too conspiratorial but <laughs> i'm just saying okay i'm just saying this right here is crazy right this is nuts to think about and what's even more crazy to think about is that a year ago, if you were to hypothesize that uh, this virus may have came from a lab or have been developed in a lab, um, you would have been yeeted off the internet, right? They would have called you cuckoo for cocoa puffs insane, okay? You would have got yeeted, right? Your livelihood would have been taken away if you said that. Now, a year later, not only is the lab leak theory kind of a commonly accepted hypothesis that even the mainstream liberal media is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There could be some validation to this, but we found a patented code DNA sequence from a major pharmaceutical company in the virus. Okay. Again, there were people who were yeeted from the internet who had their livelihoods taken away for simply hypothesizing that this was a possibility a year ago. Okay. Again, this should tell you why censorship is bad, right? This should tell you why private companies shouldn't be involved in trying to determine what is scientific slash medical misinformation and what is not, okay? It, it, it literally tells you th that's why it's dumb, okay? Because science does truly evolve over time and you learn more over time and there's nothing wrong with hypothesizing certain things because at the end of the day, you, you don't know. Right. You have to test these things out and to see if some of these things might be true. And lo and behold, some of the things that the conspiracy theories and the nut jobs or the so-called conspiracy theories, the nut jobs were saying just a year ago, uh, they're turning out that they may actually have some credibility. Ain't it amazing how that works? So let's read here. It's going to get even crazier. It was discovered in SARS-CoV-2's unique foreign cleavage site, the part that makes it so good at infecting people and separates it from other coronaviruses. Again, the part of the virus, right? The part of the DNA sequence that makes it so good at infecting people. You know, the thing that a lot of people have been like perplexed about, like why is this virus so good at infecting people? Why is it so infectious? The patented DNA sequence from Moderna, it is there. <laughs> it is there. Again, I'm not making this up. This is in the mainstream news, right? It's on Fox Business, okay? <laughs> so I want the YouTube moderators to understand. I'm not getting into Alex Jones territory here, right? This is simply in the mainstream news, right? I'm just saying. The structure has been one of the focal points of debate about the virus origin, with some scientists claiming it could not have been acquired naturally. The international team of researchers suggests the virus may have mutated to have a foreign cleavage site doing experiments on human uh, cells in a lab. They claim that there is a one in three trillion chance, one in three trillion, not million, not billion, trillion chance. Moderna's sequence randomly appeared through natural evolution. Wow. 
this reminds me of the argument for intelligent design, which basically goes like uh, the universe is so complex, right? Life is so complex. Uh, the way that we're built and the way we function as human beings seems to be by design, right? That some intelligent person designed it. There's no way that this could have happened by random chance, okay? That's kind of what it reminds me of. It is so unlikely that this could have happened by chance, right? By natural evolution that a designer must have done it, okay? Again, that, that's essentially what the claim here is. It seems like it's going in that direction, right? One out of three trillion? Trillion, guys, okay? It's insane. This should be the biggest story in the world, I'm telling you. But there's some debate about whether the match is as rare as the study claims, with other experts describing it as a quirky coincidence rather than a smoking gun. So you can hit, see here, this is an explanation of stuff. I'm not going to pretend like I'm a scientist, like I know what the hell I'm looking at, because I don't, <laughs> Right? Apparently, this is the patent, okay? Uh, in the latest study published in Frontiers Virology, researchers compared COVID's makeup to millions of sequenced proteins on an online database. The virus is made up of 30,000 letters of genetic code that carry the information it needs to spread, known as nucleotides. Quote, it is the only coronavirus of its type to carry 12 unique letters that allow its spike protein to be activated by a common enzyme called ferrin, allowing it to spread between human cells with ease. Analysis of the original COVID genome found the virus shares a sequence of 19 specific letters with a genetic selection owned by Moderna, which has a total of 3,300 nucleotides. The U.S.-based pharmaceutical firm filed a patent in February uh, 2016 as a part of its cancer research division. Records show the patent sequence is a part of a gene called MSH3 uh, that's known to affect how damaged cells repair themselves in the body. Scientists have highlighted this pathway as a potential target for new cancer uh, treatments. Twelve of the shared letters make up the structure of COVID's fern cleavage site, with the rest being a match with nucleotides on, on a nearby part of the genome. Writing in the paper, led by uh, Balarari uh, and BT from the University of Oregon, the researchers said the matching code may have originally been introduced to the COVID gene through infected human cells, expressing the MSH3 gene. Professor Lawrence Young, a virologist at Warwick University admitted the latest finding was interesting but claimed it was not significant enough to suggest uh, lab manipulation. He told Mail Online, quote, we're talking about a very, very, very small piece made up of 19 nucleotides, so it doesn't mean very much, to be frank. If you do these types of searches, you can always find matches. Quote, sometimes these things happen uh, fortuitously. Uh, sometimes it's a result of convergent evolution when organisms evolve independently to have similar uh, traits to adapt to their environment quote it's a quirky observation but i wouldn't call it a smoking gun because it's too small he added it doesn't get us any further with the debate about whether COVID was engineered uh dr simon clark a microbiologist at rating university questioned whether the find was as rare as the study claims he told mail online there can only be a certain number of genetic combinations within foreign cleavage sites they function like a lock and key in the cell and the two only fit together in a limited number of combinations. So it's an interesting coincidence, but this is surely entirely coincidental. Uh, Mail Online has approached Moderna for comment. All right, so we're going to stop there, okay? As the scientists are claiming that, hey, you know, this is coincidental. You know, no big deal, nothing to look at here, right? It is what it is, okay? And that's what they're saying, okay? So, you know... Who knows? I'm not a scientist. I don't know. I, I just found this to be quite fascinating, right? And, you know, I also found it interesting how this is what the scientists are saying. I'm sure the Moderna CEO is aware of this, and he could have just said the same thing that they're saying. He could say, hey, listen, uh, this just happened randomly, okay? And um, it is what it is, okay? And he could have gave the same explanation they gave, and I probably wouldn't have batted an eye at it. But it's the fact that the guy just completely avoided even answering that question or even acknowledging that she brought up that part of it the question when it comes to their patented code being in this virus allegedly uh again it, it does raise a whole lot of questions okay so with that being said uh let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace